Hey lovers, this is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Eye Tarot. Here with the weekend. Well, this ain't the weekend romance. This is the Intuitive Fridays. Kind of confused. Um, I just want to make a few announcements. First of all, this is the video to win the 30 minute free reading on. If you have not participated in that, all you have to do is timestamp below when I start each element. And I want to say to those of you that reach out to me about the King Vaughn situation. I have been contacted by his family to do so. The problem is that I have not been contacted by King Vaughn himself. Instead, I got a little bit of a conflict of interest going on here because um, the rapper Mo3 died a couple days later after King Vaughn, and he is the one that reached out to me. Um, however, Mo3, which is uh, Melvin Noble, he has a spiritual reader. And I'm kind of conflicted with that because... I'm not the type of person that likes to step on anyone's toes, and I'm sure that if I do his reading, it's going to conflict with his uh, spiritual representation, the person that usually reads him, okay? So, just give me some time, you know, uh, maybe King Vaughn will hit, hit me up, you know, I'm waiting on him, he has not crossed over yet. Another thing is, I'm kind of nervous to do it, I don't like to do cases where it involves people that you know, may have murdered someone that is still living. And especially when it's considered a higher up. You know what I mean? Like, who the fuck am I? I'm, I'm nobody really. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm vulnerable just as well as anybody else. So, I get really scared to do these really big cases because I don't want to bring any drama or trouble to myself. Another thing is, you notice, I don't mention anyone's name. I'll give you a zodiac sign. And, um... You know, I'll tell you the details surrounding his death and, you know, what he was doing or what he may have been involved in or what that person may have been involved in before their dad, before they died. Um, so I'm still struggling with the King Vaughn, but just give me some time. When he does reach out to me, then I will, you guys will be the first to know. Okay. Um, also, I'm missing certain details. Um, the guy, Little Tim... I don't have his birthday, which I don't think that he is the one that's actually responsible for killing King Vaughn, okay? But there's no guarantees on that, okay? Because I have not really opened up that case. I haven't, you know, got the authority from him. So anyway, that's just to let you know what's going on. I know you guys are like, well, what you going to do, Bella? You're going to do the case? Also, I had another really big case, but... Listen, Linda, I'm pussy. <laughs> so I refused the shit out of that case because uh, the perpen person that was involved is still living and he got a lot of money and I could be touched. And I'm not going to die for nobody, okay, Linda? <laughs> so that's what it is. All right, so anyway, we're going to get into this intuitive weekly. This is going to run from, what's today? The 19th, 18th, November 18th through the 25th. And I'm just going to pull the cards as they come. First element is going to be air. Now, this deck, this was bought for my birthday by my daughter. I forgot the name of it, but it is a personal deck. It's a really beautiful deck. Um, she bought it for me for my birthday, and I've never used it. So this is the first week that I'm going to use it. But sorry to interrupt your reading with that, those announcements, but I got a lot of people hit me up in an email, you know, asking me to do these people, and I just wanted to let you know where I stand on it, you know, like, uh, how I feel about it, okay, I want to do the Mo3 case, I really do, because I don't feel like he's going to get justice, okay, because we're looking in the wrong direction, um, however, um, I have to first consult with his spiritual advisor, you know, all right, so anyway, here we go. First up, we have our air signs. This is going to be for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. R.I.P. Malcolm Noble. He was a Gemini, I believe. Okay. Uh, the 18th through the 25th. Make sure you're sharing the monthly videos. Because on the 30th, I'm going to choose my winner. Whoever has the most views uh, for the month of November. I'm going to choose that, you know, choose one person in that element or that zodiac sign and to come in for a one hour free reading. All right. Come on, give me Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
Here we go, y'all. Okay. First card out, we have the Ace of Coins. Six of Swords. Five of Wands. The World card. Seven of Coins. Under the Ace of Coins, we have the Nine of Cups. Under the Six of Swords, the Four of Wands. Under the Five of Wands, the Empress. Under the World card, the Two of Swords. Under the Seven of Coins, the King of Cups. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Cups. Okay? Alright. So this is for my air signs, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius. All right, so we definitely got some water energy in your <clears throat> element, especially for my Aquarius. I've, I've been telling you, I've been seeing uh, Aquarius and Pisces come together. But it could also be some Libras that may be dealing with Scorpio, because this is where the energy has been for you air signs, okay? So, we have the Ace of Coins, the Nine of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Four of Wands. So this tells me that maybe some of you have gotten out of a situation that may have been draining all right something that you were involved with um like i say i always say if you put all my readings together it pretty much tells a story it tells you what's going to happen before it happens if you actually listen to it so i believe on the last reading it was talking about my air signs getting away from a particular person that you may have been involved with okay now this person for some of you probably was the king of cups so scorpio pisces and also mary cancer So it looks to me that maybe you've gotten out of that situation. It's been a long time coming. Some of you are still secretly involved with this person. <laughs> Can't seem to let them go because when a water sign loves you, it's real hard for them to, you know, break it completely off. Even though the sex may have stopped between the two of you, it's, it's just they still have or feel the need to feel a sense of entitlement like they still own you. Okay? Well, at least this is my experience with my water signs. Okay? Um, so the Ace of Coins with the Nine of Cups, this is about a wish fulfillment. And what is the wish fulfillment? Six of Swords and the Four of Wands. To get out of a situation that may have considered or been considered toxic to you. Something that was weighing heavily on your mind, on your heart. Could have been in a very uh, abusive, not just physically, but emotionally abusive relationship. It's toxicity, all right? Now, in the meantime, I feel like maybe... The reason as to why it was so toxic is because you had your mindset to go somewhere else, to go towards another individual. I have the Empress here with the Five of Wands. This could be that you may have went towards an uh, Earth sign, okay, Virgo, Taurus. Um, you could have also went towards a Fire sign, okay. I had Fire and Air hooking up as well. Let me get my Clarity cards. Forgive this nail. Look at that nail's broke. I'll be seeing you in a minute, Annie. Annie is my nail tech, and she uh, does my nails. And she watches my videos. Okay. Clarify that five of wands for me. Let me see that five of wands. Star. Okay. Four of cups. Okay, so... The person that you might have been trying to, you know, transition into could have been a fire sign, maybe Sagittarius, younger Aries. The problem with this person is that they may not be on board with you 100%. I think I warned a lot of you to be very careful with jumping out of one situation and trying to make it all better with a new situation. Um, and, and I say this to my air signs, you know, all respectfully. You have a real hard time with understanding the lesson stays the same. <clears throat> the people people may change, but the lesson stays the same. So leaving your Scorpio Pisces cancer is not going to put you in a better situation. You understand? It's not 
especially it, it really depends on the purpose of why you're actually leaving the person now if you're leaving a person because you know what they're verbally abusive you guys just don't get along then absolutely going on to this fire sign it may work in your favor the problem is that when you leave this person because you don't like something that they're doing or, you know, he keeps cheating on me, she keeps cheating on me, or, you know, um, they won't do what I want them to do or they won't keep a job or, you know, things like that. Things that are centered around lessons, you're only going to get the same thing in the next person that you're trying to go after. So those of you air signs that are trying to transition to move on to a fire sign are going to have the most problems. Why do I say that? Because it, it doesn't look like this fire sign is ready to settle down. If you look, you have the star, the knight of wands, and the four of cups. So this tells me that this person is still actively involved or pursuing other people outside of you. Okay, so they're not convinced that you're the one or, or they want to spend the rest of their lives with you. Okay, now people always say, Bella, why is it always so negative? It's not negative, it's truth. Okay, so what would be the purpose of me seeing a reading like that? Well, the purpose would be that I'm telling you or warning you that if you're leaving your Scorpio Pisces Cancer to try to replace it with a fire sign, that would be a bad idea because it's not going to work out between you and this fire sign. So I'm saving marriages and relationships, okay, by telling you the absolute truth. Even though it may not be something that you want to hear, what you want to hear is that it's going to work out with you and this fire sign and this, this water sign can kick rocks and go to hell and his life is going to fall apart or her life is going to fall apart. And that's not always the case. I'm telling you that if you leave this water sign and you move and transition with this fire sign, you're probably going to be on the back burner for a while. You know, like um, on again, off again type of situation. This person leaving you hanging a lot, not answering your text messages, not answering, you know, not coming to see you as often. Maybe you only see them two days a week because they got a lot of other shit going on that they're focused on okay so it would be like leaving 80 percent for 20 percent okay so this is sort of like a warning to stay where you are okay let me look at this knight of cups let me see the knight of cups now on a, on a lighter note i feel like if you are air sign and you're going after earth energy okay so this is virgo and taurus capricorn as well if you are going after that energy, I think that that's going to bode very well for you. I have uh, some uh, connections, some connections that's going down between air that is moving into new water signs as well as air that are moving on to new earth signs, okay? So this person could be a Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, but they're new, okay? So some of you, you got double, you know, uh, double water. So you might be leaving a Scorpio and I'm hooking up with a Pisces or I'm leaving a Cancer and I'm hooking up with a Scorpio, you know, something like that. Um... So, I just need you to be aware if you are trying to move or transition towards a younger Sagittarius or Aries that doesn't seem like they're really ready. You know you know how you get into a relationship with somebody and you guys are just screwing and they're not giving you a solid commitment? You know, they may be telling you, yeah, we're just doing what we're doing. We're doing us or we're just chilling. You know, we ain't rushing things. Be aware when they say that to you. Break me down on that Knight of Wands. See, Ace of Swords. Be very aware if they're telling you that they're trying to take it slow. And it looks like because there's just too much on their plate, there's something something else, someone else maybe that they're talking to. Another thing could be I want you to be aware if you're talking to anybody that live out of town, okay? Because this chariot would be symbolic of somebody that you might be speaking to that lives out of town and you're considering this a relationship, but what you don't know is that this person is very active in their city and their town and they may not be telling you that. And you, you probably know it because, you know, they're starting to put you on a back burner. They're not returning your calls. You used to spend all day and night on the phone, and now they're hanging up early. Or they're claiming that they got to work, you know, uh, things like that. So please don't play yourself, um, air signs. But if you are transitioning and moving into a new relationship with a new earth sign of Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, it looks like that situation is going to bode very well for you, okay? Because a lot of you have karmic energy, karmic soulmates in earth. Okay, so I'm going to encourage you to move towards that. But this this is the thing. Those of you that are moving towards earth signs and leaving behind water signs, it's all in the way that you're thinking about the situation. What is a healthy breakup? A healthy breakup is when you can leave that person and you can thank God, the universe, for giving you the opportunity to be with that individual because you have learned some very important things that you would not have learned if you didn't date them. 
Okay, so that's a healthy breakup. But when you're trying to run away from this person because I don't like what he does, I don't like that he does this, and I don't like we sleep in the separate beds, we don't get along, we talking da da da. I think that spirit really lays the responsibility on you if you have a relationship right now and it's broken and you guys are sleeping in separate beds. It could be that you know spirit is encouraging you um, to start doing some things to to uh, revive your relationship or you know pick yourself up now you know whether you've been slacking or not the one area that I know a lot of air signs slacking is once your partner cheats on you you're no longer engaged in the love or in the relationship anymore you're kind of afraid that he's going to do it again or she's going to do it again and it kind of turns you off it makes your sex life dull now you're sleeping in separate beds okay now this is the thing I need you to understand if you forgave that person for you know committing adultery on you or cheating on you then you need to forgive that person 100% don't forgive the person and then torture them make them sleep in a separate bed or or, you know, um, you, you're not putting your all into the relationship. That's not fair to that person, okay? So, I just want you to understand the lesson stays the same. The people change, but the lesson stays the same. So, that means how in the world are you asked in the universe for a new husband and you already have a husband, but he's sleeping in a separate bed? You haven't even explored all parts of yourself on how you can make it work between you and this individual. Now, if your partner is sleeping in separate beds because he's just not giving you a chance or she's not giving you a chance, they're just completely shut off from the relationship, then it's time to let that go, okay? But I'm speaking, you know, there are people that are still in love and you live together, but you sleep in separate beds and every Friday night you go and you have sex together. Like, come on, you, you can fix that, okay? You, you're still turned on with each other if you're still having sex, okay? So... <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much all I have going on. As far as that fire sign that lives in another state, another city from you, I would really put that on the back burner and, and focus on whatever you got going on because I, I think that that's going to come to an end out of nowhere. You know, you know how you could just be, and, and I don't think you're going to have any closure with that relationship. You know, I think that they're going to probably, looking at the two of swords with the world, they'll probably wait until you say something and they take offense to it and then oh well, I don't think we should do this now I don't want you to beat yourself up if that happens to you do know that Bella already told you that there's somebody else and that's the reason why they're using that as an excuse as to get out of the relationship okay make sure you like comment below subscribe if you haven't already hit your notification bell you want a personal reading you need the timestamp below and make sure you have your notification bell on because what's happening is i am picking my winners but then you're going past the week that you have to reserve your reading so you're losing out on that all right so make sure you check the board and i know sometimes i slack well you don't do it every week bella sometimes i do Okay, sometimes I will hit you every week. It may be a day late, but I will hit you every week. Okay, I'm telling you, go timestamp. All right, because if I tell you you're going to get a free reading, you're going to get a free reading. All right, all right, I'll be back with the next element. Welcome back, Bella. Thank you, guys. Next up, we have my wonderful water signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for the week of November 18th through the 25th. Let's see what's going on. Spirit of the Universe, what's the message you got for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, November 18th to the 25th? Here we go, y'all. First card out, nine of coins. King of coins. Queen of cups. Okay. And the hierophant. One more up top. Two of coins. Alrighty. Under the nine of coins, we have the two of cups. There's so much going on on these cards. Is it just me, Linda, or is it a lot going on? I don't think... It doesn't follow the Rider Waite or anything else. It's just, like, everywhere. I like it because 
it's how the you know developer feels it's, it's what goes on in their head the sun different is good what is that that's the page of swords under the queen of cups is the page of swords let, let me go back two of cups is under the nine of uh, coins under the king of cups i mean king of coins we have the sun under the queen of cups we have the page of swords under the hierophant is the emperor okay under the two of coins is the six of cups nostalgic huh overall energy at the bottom of the deck for my water signs is the lovers you're very nostalgic okay so water signs you're losing it losing it meaning that something's weighing heavy on your mind to the point where some of you are coming out of your comfort zone and you might just be sitting back stalking or just watching the person that you love why don't you just go towards them and, and tell them that you're looking at them or tell them that you miss them or tell them that you made a mistake and you want to be forgiven why the long face why the fear so we have the nine of coins with the two of cups it's probably because some of you got something else going on you probably are dealing with someone, and this is something that I see oftentimes with a lot of cancers, okay? I'm not going to say Scorpio Pisces, but cancer definitely. I see you get into relationships where there is no emotional connectivity. You only get into the relationships for money, all right? Because this person looks good on paper, or because this person brings a lot to the table, or this person is beneficial for you, okay? But you never think long-term wise, if I'm not into this individual, if they're not what I like or not my taste, it's going to lead for a very lonely life for me because my money will be right, but my heart will still be broken or yearning. That's what's going on with you water signs, okay? So there is another person. It could be a water sign like yourself. It could be a, a fire sign. Um, but it looks like there are some water signs that may be connected with Capricorn and Taurus, all right? So I'm going to throw out Capricorn and Taurus for my water signs. If you're connected with Capricorn or Taurus, you really need to... Uh, you, you need an epiphany moment. Like, you need to really look at that relationship and ask yourself, why am I here? Okay? Because what I'm seeing between the two of you is there's no emotional connectivity. The only thing that you have in common is the money. All right? So this is one of those relationships where you don't really have sexual intercourse. And when you do, it's more out of duty. Okay? It's more like a chore. It's not um, an emotional connectivity. But the, the one thing that you do have in common with that other Capricorn or Taurus is that you both love money. And you both want to get to the bag, secure the bag. However, if you're a Cancer Pisces, you're sitting back secretly. See, and this is where you go wrong at. Help me, spirit, because I don't want to hurt none of you, okay? You guys look up to me, and I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. But you love me because I'm real. I'm raw. I have to capture that real, raw moment, okay? Listen to me. This is where you go wrong, Cancer Pisces. You get involved. It's, it's like meeting your dream man or meeting your dream woman. You love this person. This is the one that you're going to go out with. This is the one that you plan to marry. You take it and you stick it up on the shelf. Okay? When I get here, when I get financially stable, when I get my own house, when I get myself together, I'm going to go back and pull that thing off the shelf problem is cancer pisces is you both play with time okay you play too much with time time is not yours it's not your invention and every opportunity is not going to still be available later on after you get yourself together some situations some relationships are meant to take off right then and there as soon as you meet that person all right because then you'll be able to build character. It's all about the struggle that the two of you went through together to build your empower. Okay? At the time, you may be putting yourself down, looking so down on yourself because you don't have a job at this time. Or you don't have the money that you want. So you think that it is going to destroy the relationship between you and, and the love of your life. If that person is indeed the love of your life, they are going to struggle with you. They're going to build with you. Okay? If you live in a fucking box, they're getting in that box with you. All right? Where you're running into an issue at is you don't mind stepping on the back of somebody else in order to fix or in order to get yourself to where you can go and take that thing off the shelf. Because you don't know you, you don't know what to do with this. 
You understand? Am I making sense? I'm going to use this Capricorn Taurus because they got great business ideas. Actually, we're going to open up a business together. Um, we're going to move together or whatever. I'm going to marry into money. But I'm in love with another Scorpio. Or I'm in love with another Cancer. And I can't be with that person right now because I have nothing to offer that person. You never think about, what about this, though? What happens after you, you see, you didn't already entangled yourself in a situation. You already opened up a business. You didn't already had a baby with this person. You already locked yourself in with this individual. So how do you know that what you put up on the shelf is still going to be there? You see what I'm saying to you, Cancer Pisces? Scorpio, too. Okay? Stop taking things for granted. I don't really like to get on my Scorpios too much because Scorpio is not one that struggles with this most of the time. They, you know, Scorpio doesn't struggle with... If they like somebody, if they have, if their heart is set somewhere, Scorpio is going towards where their heart is, period. All right? Period. doesn't matter what they got to sacrifice or what they got to lose in order to get it. They, they're, they're willing to do it. Which is great. But Cancer Pisces, on the other hand, it's a different story. All right? Um, and most of it is maybe because of the way you're raised. It can be, um, it, you know, some of the guys... Or, you know, females that have masculine energy that struggle with this the most that I'm talking about are people that were put down as a youngster, maybe talked about, maybe they didn't, their parents couldn't buy them the best shoes and clothes. So they were put down. They may be attractive as all hell, but they didn't wear all the hype of shit or, or they weren't really recognized in school. They weren't the, 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 the what did I say, the prom king or queen. You get me? Because of their parents. All right, you know what they put on their body. So these are very superficial feelings for a water sign to carry. And I'm just telling you, prove yourself wrong. Next time you find yourself in a situation where this is the love of my life. I love this person. I want to be with this person. I don't want you to put that on the shelf. I want you to just jump head first. Just jump into it. Okay. When you do that, Cancer Pisces, those are the marriages that last 20, 30, 40 years that you're still happy with. Okay? The reason why it doesn't work out is because you are breaking the heart of somebody else. You're stepping on someone else to get where you need to go. Okay? I like to bring this up because I had a, a visit yesterday from an ex. King popped up on me. And... When he came, and this is my business, I don't need to tell it, but I'm going to tell it, okay? When he came here yesterday, I was in a bed, I was asleep, but it was like 2 o'clock in the daytime. But y'all know I stay up all night because I do people that's overseas, so I have to get on their time schedule too. So I'm up all night and all fucking morning until, and I go to sleep around 11 o'clock in the morning. So it was about 2 o'clock, so I was asleep, and he came here. And me and King didn't break up on the best terms. But he went directly to smelling my neck, like um, my chest area. I had my nightgown on and stuff, you know. But he went to smelling my neck, you know, my face, just smelling me. And then he bit me on my shoulder. And, and, and the feeling was like, I need to be home. It was sad. It was a very sad moment because he's one of those ones that do this. Okay? He's one of those ones that will step on the back of another to make sure me and my daughter has. Okay? And that's the real reason why I left King. Because I don't I don't need this karma. <laughs> I got enough shit going on. <laughs> I don't need this karma of how you're hurting other people. You know, I'm not that type of person. I prefer a man that is a man, you know, that goes out here and get it how he live. He go out here, he hustle, he work very hard for his stuff. I don't want a man that has to step on a woman in any way to take care of another woman. I don't want that, okay? And I wouldn't be a great reader if I was that type of person. But the yearning that, you know, he, he kept trying to make me look at him in his eyes, and I wouldn't, you know. Because, as I stated a couple weeks ago, I'm still not over King all the way. I thought I was, but no. There's still a part of me that's angry. You know? 
So he, he just, it fucked me up because why are you doing this? <laughs> why do you put off today what you can do? You know, why do you put off to tomorrow what you can do today? If you love me and yearn for me, just my smell makes you feel at home. What the fuck are you doing outside in the street? You should be with your family. Right? That, that's my thoughts on it. I'm a fire sign. I'm a Leo. I get it how I live. I think it. I do it. Regret it later. That's how I get down. Okay? There's no way I'm going to be yearning for someone and I can have that person and not step into that arena of getting that person. Of conquer. It, there's no way. Do you know how many of you are watching this video? Some of you are cross-watching. And you're dating a water sign or have dated a water sign that is watching your ass right now, that yearns for you, just wants you so bad, want to come back home, want to smell your scent. Because see, water signs, water signs are not good at casual sex. Okay? This is why a lot of them are not cheaters. You think they are, but no. A water sign has to be, literally, shit got to be going so wrong at home for them to start screwing somebody else. Now, flirtatious, they're very flirtatious. I'm talking getting into the physical action of in, exchanging sex. They're not cheaters. Most of them are not, okay? Do you know how many of your water signs are still in love with you but will not verbally tell you that? How many of you have had a visit, and remember, water signs are in the vertex, okay? Some of you are fire signs watching. How many of you have had a visit from an ex, and all he did was smell your neck and maybe bit your shoulder a little bit? Because he, the pheromones drove him crazy because this is what he really wants. He loves you still, okay? She still loves you, but she loves something more than you, money. That's the, that's, that would be considered the only thing that a water sign will cheat with is money. Because water signs love money more than anything in this world. Okay? Money. Materialistic individuals. Okay? Um, I brought that story up because there's so many of you right now that have a water sign. Or some of you are water signs that are watching. You have a water sign and you're you're missing this person like crazy and you don't understand why am I missing this individual? Why am I yearning for this person the way I'm yearning? It is because this person is not over you and they are not telling you, page of swords, how they truly feel about you. So it has created a cord. You're, you, it's like you're being held onto by this individual that is not present. Which is weird, because you would think if a person still loves you or they're crazy about you, why are they not there? Water signs are the, the element that will do that. They will be totally 100% invested in love with a particular person, but somewhere else. They will do that, I'm telling you. Okay? I, too, have been yearning. Not for King. I'm going to keep him on it. <laughs> Linda. My twin. Okay, that, that's who the fuck I'm yearning for. Out of this world, so I know he's feeling the same way. Because he has a hold on me. So strong. Okay? Um, we have the Hierophant with the Emperor. What's going to happen this week is that spirit, your spirit guys, are going to deal with the men of your element. The masculine, divine masculine, because the divine masculine is broken. And what has happened is the divine masculine is no longer standing up to be in this position of emperor. They are now trading places with the divine feminine. So the divine feminine are more aggressive in the element of water than the masculine, which is all wrong. That's why the two of coins is there with the six of cups, because we're going to take it back. We're going to rewind the tape, and we're going to take it back. We're going to give you back your power. We're going to put you in positions to where you have no choice but to confront what it is that you want or confront what it is that you love. That is what will be happening this week. What are some of the things that have happened? Listen, Linda, I can't go over some of the things because there's so many playgrounds that's being created by your spirit guides. 
I just know that they're going to put you in situations to where you're going to be very uncomfortable for my divine masculine, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're going to be uncomfortable. So let's say that you're avoiding, you, you know, you just broke up with your ex and you're trying to avoid them because you don't want to be around them because every time you're around them, it pulls at your heartstrings and it makes you weak and vulnerable. Well, the universe is going to probably do some shit where you run into that motherfucker and you have no choice but to communicate with that individual. Okay, they grab you out of nowhere and give you a hug, you know, and you feel that exchange and, 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 it, and it torments you to the point to where you have no choice but to stand up on what it is that you believe. That's what should have been the outcome, which is the seven of wands. I don't see why it's not here. Seven of wands is the energy that spirit is going to be doing with my divine masculine of water. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. That's what's going to be going down this week. So a lot of you are going to be running into the loves of your lives, running into that special somebody, the person that you put up on a shelf. You're going to be running into that person this week. There's going to be a lot of that coming up, okay, to where you can't avoid it. You didn't think you would run into that person again, and then, oh, my God, they're right in front of you, okay? It just so happens they're vis visiting your state this month or they're visiting your state this week. Okay, you didn't think you would run into this person. Confrontation is coming. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. If you need a personal reading, hit me up. All seeing at gmail.com. You got like two weeks left to take advantage of that um, uh, spiritual analysis discount. Okay, I'm going I'm to chop it November 30th. The vertex is over. So if you have not booked your reading, you better get in and book your reading. I'll be back with the next element. Welcome back, Bella. Thank you, guys. Next up, we have my wonderful fire signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Happy birthday to those of you that are born in the month of November. Remember, the uh, monthly special, the birthday monthly special is still in effect, okay? You got a couple weeks with that, so definitely take advantage of that, okay? All right, let's see what's going down. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages we, you have for my fire signs? Congratulations to Leo. Leo is kicking ass and taking names. As far as the race is going for the uh, the monthlies, Leo is in first place right now. So definitely keep up the good work. There's still time left for Aries and Sagittarius to catch up. But I don't want to toot my own horn, but it looks like Leo is going to win. So we shall see. Come on, give me Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Let's go. 18th through the 25th, November 18th through the 25th. You missed any announcements, rewind to the beginning. If you want to know about um, why I haven't dropped on King Vaughn or Mo3, rewind to the beginning. My cheaters. I'm talking to all my cheaters. You know you be cheating and shit. You're looking at other people's timestamps. I can tell when you're looking at other people's timestamps and you didn't really watch the whole video. One more. Here we go. All right. First card. Who is that? Five of Swords. Queen of Swords. There's that air energy. Six of Cups. I've been seeing a lot of fire signs date in Libra and Gemini. We got the Fool. Okay. Judgment. All right. That's good. I like that. Okay, let me. Okay, under the Five of Swords, we got the Eight of Swords. If y'all didn't listen to what happened to me this week, go and listen to the Water Sign Energy. We got the tower under the queen of swords. Under the six of cups is the six of coins. I don't know. I heard. The, I, I don't know why I heard. As soon as I picked this up, I heard, go back and look. I don't know where that came from. It does say look. It just say again. I don't know. I, I don't ever say again and again. Look. I don't know why I heard, go back and look. I don't know where that came from on that six of cups. Under the Fool, we got the Nine of Wands. And under Judgment, what is that? The Eight of Cups. Ooh. 
overall energy at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups. I love it. Yes, Linda. This is our break we need, fire signs, okay? So, go back and look. Like I said, if you didn't hear what happened to me just yesterday, go and listen to the water energy because I left it there. Um, also, you need to be prepared yourself, fire sign, for confrontation. Oh, come on. No, Linda. No, 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 no. Sorry, y'all. When my phone rings, sometimes it cut the video off. Hold on. Sorry about that. I tried to turn my ringer off because sometimes when my phone ring, it cuts my video off. Okay, so anyway, what I was trying to tell you is you need to be prepared this week. I want all you fire signs to be prepared for confrontation this week, especially if there is any involvement with water signs, okay? So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you got any excess that you've been thinking about lately or that you are not over, be prepared for confrontation this week, okay? Something's definitely going down. All right, so we have the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Now, when I speak of that confrontation, I don't mean just a person that you're so in love with that you just want to, a relationship to work with, okay? I'm not talking about your twin flame. I'm talking more so about maybe someone that you're not over, someone you've never even got closure from, someone that you secretly hate deep down in your heart. Um, when people bring this person up, it makes your skin crawl a little bit or it gives you an attitude, all right? Um... The reason why Spirit is bringing this individual back is because this individual is responsible for holding you fire sign back and why you can't begin something new. So it is time to empty out the closet and figure out where your countenance has fallen. When the Queen of Swords pop up, although I do have a lot of fire signs that are, are involved with Queen, you know, Queen of Swords, Libra and Gemini, which th you also stand as that confrontation this week. So if you got an ex Libra or Gemini, also, you know, um, there will be some confrontation from this person as well. But the message here with the Queen of Swords being over the tower is I want to take your bag and I want to dump it upside down and I want to see everything that you're holding on to. So it's a very painful time, but it's a refreshing time because it is that moment where you release things that has been built up, things that have been pent on you. OK, you know how you go through breakups with someone. And when it comes to Leo, I can't speak for anyone else, but I'll say Leo. When we break up with someone, we automatically force ourselves to get over it, even if we're not over it. We force ourselves to get over it, mainly due to the fact that we hold on to our ego, okay? And it's too painful to look into why he left or why she left or why it didn't work out between me and this person, okay? Um, what I feel is going down this week, I feel like spirit is bringing you into confrontation with the person that hurt you, the person that has broke your heart. Why is this taking place? Well, first of all, it's the end of the vertex. Another thing is you have been going too long single. You know, you, you're, you're, you're not playing the game. You're not giving what is, re, what is required of you. That's why the six of pentacles is here. Um, we are down here to learn. We are down here to go through different lessons in order be, to become a better person. That is considered a debt to the universe, okay? So when I say we're not given what is required, it is meant for you to get into relationship with others and, you know, uh, to coexist together, okay? Because through others is how you learn about yourself. You can't learn about yourself by yourself. OK, um, that's why we have a lot of narcissism in Aries, a lot of narcissism in Aries, because most of the time Aries is alone. OK, Aries are not in relationships and it's always their way or the highway. OK, so they don't have a lot of them don't have or, or they do get into a relationship, but they meet someone lesser than meaning they they meet someone who gives them all the credit and lets them be in charge. A lot of Aries hook up with soulmates. They hook up with things that feel good. They don't really want to deal with um, toxicity or, or, or negativity in any way. Okay? So this is what makes them narcissistic. Um, because they're not facing themselves. Meaning that they're not able to deal with someone just like them. Because they tend to run. Sagittarius does this as well. Okay? If you run away from your karmic soulmates then you're only as smart as your last karmic soulmate, all right? You're not going to have the opportunity to grow.
because it, it's not about getting with soulmates. Soulmates feel great, absolutely, but there's no growth in soulmates. You can't clear energy with soulmate, and I, I tell you that all the time. Why? Because you're too much alike. Okay, you bite your tongue. You don't want to hurt his feelings. He don't want to hurt your feelings. So there's no purpose. There's no real correctivity or change. That's why judgment is here. You see that judgment there with the eight of cups? Okay, there's no correction and there's no change. All right, because you haven't gotten with someone that challenges you. When you do finally get into a relationship with a karmic soulmate, that, that, that relationship is going to challenge you. And most of the time, you have had the opportunity, Sagittarius and Aries, to get involved with karmic relationships, but you run from them because they don't feel good. Now, this is for some of you that are Leo, too. Those of you that are Leo with Risings and Aries and Sagittarius, you struggle with this as well. Okay? Um, you want to run when things don't go your way. Okay? Oh, no, he's crazy. Or he did this, and I believe he did something behind my back. Or you want to get out of the relationship when it doesn't live up to the vision that you have okay so at the end of the day long story short spirit is bringing you something that you departed from that you doesn't have you don't have closure we got the fool here and we have the nine of wands and what does that mean bella the fool on top of the nine of wands what well, a nine of wands is to consistently work at something okay is to constantly it's like a boxing match you you know how you get into a relationship and you constantly got to fight with that person you love them but there's a constant fight what these two cards mean together is that this is how spirit is talking to you bella here is a person who constantly takes this person back they constantly get into a relationship with this toxic person but there's no real growth they're not taking anything from it they haven't grown up Okay, so so this could look like you getting into a relationship with someone, and as soon as they do what you don't want them to do, you run away. Oh, it's over. Nope, nope, because I told you not to do that. I'm done with you. And you try to leave. Okay, you run. What is that? Childish, foolish behavior. You're running away. Meanwhile, never realizing, what does the fool do? He runs right off the fucking cliff. How does the fool run off the cliff? Because he doesn't watch where he's going. Okay, that means that he's not learning from the past experiences, the past mistakes, um, the past people. Okay, he's running into the same woman over and over and over again. She's running into the same man over and over and over again. And she doesn't understand the purpose of why this person is in her life. Okay, you asked her, so what was the purpose of y'all being in a relationship? Well, he taught me to never trust nobody ever again. <laughs> Linda, <laughs> that's what everybody says to me. I'd be like, what did you learn from that relationship? Oh, I learned to never trust another motherfucker ever again. No, that's bitterness, okay? He taught you more than that. She taught you way more than that, okay? So the confrontation is coming, all right? And I want you to be as open. I want you to be honest. If you need some help with this, definitely book a reading before this goes down. I don't know when it's going to happen. For some of you, it might happen today, shit. You know, but if you need some help and you're struggling with going and facing your ex due to something that traumatically happened to you, this is the real world. And we have real things that are happening to real people, okay? Real sad, you know, painful things that are happening to people, okay? Um, and and, and they, don't, they don't know how to, to deal with that ex because, you know, it's, it's a very, very painful situation. But the truth of the matter is... I'm trying to get you to stop running. Stop running from this and just turn and face it. That's all you got to do is turn and face it. Just face it because you're just running into the same thing over and over and over again. Even though you leave this person, you still got this person in another motherfucker. Okay, Linda? So slow your world. Pump your brakes. Okay? There is something that you need to learn here. I, I also told a lot of you twins, okay, real twin flames. You feel right now, a lot of you twins are feeling like, oh my God, it's going to happen. Spirit's going to give me my twin. I can feel it, Bella. It's getting closer and closer and closer. And that is true indeed. However, there are some lessons that are not recognized on your part, the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, that you need to understand. Spirit is not going to put you with a fucking twin flame. Spirit is not going to use you as a representation 
Okay, when you think twin flame, you have to think out of this world, okay, because twin flames is out of this world. They are not going to put you with something that is not common because twins, there's nothing common about twins. They've never been together sexually. There's nothing that you could equate it to. Like, you, you can't. What makes twin flames real is the fact of going through the ascension process for over 11 years, 10 years, some of you longer than that, going through the ascension process, never having had this individual sexually, never, never. You'll never have your twin when you're going through the ascension process until you're in union. You go through the ascension process, you've never been with this person sexually, and you love them as strongly as you loved them in the very beginning, the first day you met him. That's amazing. You see? Now, I can understand why there's so much confusion because people keep trying to dumb twin flame down to common. Okay? You keep trying to put it on your ex-boyfriend that you ain't seen in years or the motherfucker you fucked when you was a kid and now you want to fuck him again. No, Linda. Okay? Because you could equate that to something. You can say, oh, yeah, of course I love him because I was with him sexually. But what can twin flame say? Why do you love them? I don't know, bitch. Some of them, it, it's embarrassing to talk about because you never felt that way with anybody ever in your life. You get me? Like, like there, there's nothing to attach it to. Nothing. You love this person, seriously, unconditional. And the reason why spirit does this they take you through an ascension process for 10 years. They bring two people together. Usually you meet when you're really young, okay? And you just see each other. And you know from that moment, I love him or I love her or that's going to be my husband or that's going to be my wife. And then you go, you know, they separate you and you go on to your life path, okay? And you start living your life. Then maybe you run into him again, maybe at a critical age, maybe 20, 21. But you're still not being together. There's still going to be an invisible wall to keep you from being together, all right? The ascension hasn't started yet. It's just you running into this person. So then they split you again. And then at this time, now maybe you got pregnant, you had your first kid, you was 21. When you ran into them, they had their first kid. Because you guys live parallel lives, so you do the same thing as your twin, all right? So if you've been married, your twin's been married. If you got one kid, your twin got one kid. You know, it's, it's very identical almost, okay? Um, so then the next time... You run into your twin. It's after the divorce has happened, after you didn't had a couple kids, or after you didn't had your child, or whatever, you know. And and now you got some experience with the world. And then you think, okay, well, sure, surely this is going to happen between me and this twin. Now, I mean, this it, I've been seeing this person since I was a kid, so now it's time to happen. I'm divorced. I'm single. I'm ready. Cause that's how they fool you. They make you think you're gonna go into a whole full blown relationship. Little do you know, you got about ten. 15 years from that moment because that's when the ascension starts so when the ascension starts you're seeing this person on a regular basis this is not unrequited love okay i mean you you guys are running into each other you're actually communicating with each other okay they they turn up the heat a little bit you're communicating with each other you might have crushes you might try to start a relationship with them then it falls apart out of nowhere but this is going to be before you have sex and all that you're not going to have sex okay even though you think you're going to come together Next thing you know, you look the fuck up. It's been 10 motherfucking years. You never had this person. You never been with them sexually. You tried to start a relationship. That wouldn't work. But you're still crazy about this person. Crazy in love. And it's mutual. It's mutual. Your twin knows you're their twin. Okay? So this ain't going to be some shit where you just tell some, some dude that you like, he's your twin flame, and he look at you like, bitch, what? okay, Linda. You know, he's already dreaming. He's already, the real twin is already dreaming. The real twin has these same emotions. And, and it takes him a long time to talk about with you. You know, because it's embarrassing. How can I tell you I love you and I ain't never been with you? Society says you got to have sex with somebody or be in a relationship with somebody before you can say you love them. So it's, it's embarrassing for the twins. It's not a good feeling. Shit. If you got a good feeling, hit me up. Let's talk about it. Because, bitch, Linda, mm. It's not a good feeling. It's not. In the course of this ascension, while you're going through ascension, and ascension is simply you're resonating to grow towards one another. So you're coming closer together. But you're coming closer together through the relationships that you're having outside of each other. 
all right because twin flame is non-existent it's not a relationship like it's not you, you're with your twin you, you and i'll have more about this i think i'm gonna do a series another bella tell all series because i don't want to destroy well it's not really destroying it because a lot of you fire signs want the no, you want this information you talk to me about it all the time you want this but i try to explain it and so many people get hurt because somebody that led you in the wrong direction, they told you some shit that wasn't real twins. You know, another thing, you're not going to be 60 years old, 50 years old before you know who your twin is. All right? You, no, Linda, no. You're going to know this very early on, probably about 12, 13 years old. You're going to know about this other person. You're not going to know that you're twin. You're just going to know about this other person. Okay? probably grew up in the same neighborhood same hood type shit you know this person you've crossed paths with paths with this person a few times okay but when you start going through the ascension and the more carnality that falls off of you the more your eyes open up okay after you go through the awakening then you start realizing this is weird like this this is this won't go away this is still here what is this connection i feel to this person i've never been with them bella i don't even know how to explain it you know, because you've never been with this person. So it's weird. And, and you don't have anybody to talk to because nobody understands it. Your family is done to death with the situation. They're done with the topic because they thought y'all was going to get together years ago. And they gave up. And the only people that are still holding on to this dream and this vision of, of finally resonating as one is you and that twin. More about that in the spiritual analysis. Listen, Linda, it's your last two weeks to book a spiritual analysis at the discounted rate if you're a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's the last two weeks of the vertex. Okay? Take advantage of it if you haven't. All right? If you got something going on and you're trying to understand this twin flame journey, I've been through a lot of things, so much so I can't give it to you in one reading. I, I can't. It's impossible. Okay? I've been through the whole energy vampire shit. Um, you coming together, believing that a certain person is your twin when they're not. I, I've, been, I've been through that. Okay? Especially when you're going through a spiritual awakening. Because you're so vulnerable at that moment, you're willing to listen to anything. If you're going through something and you need confirmation... You need some help because those of you that are real twins, you know, you didn't ask God six million seven hundred fucking thousand times. You asked the universe, was he your twin? And you never got an answer. <laughs> you didn't ask them, okay, well, give me a sign. If this person is really my twin, you know, let them show up here at the. Mm -mm. No. And you still don't have no confirmation. You're confused on it. You're, you're, you're done to death on it. It's embarrassing to talk about. Bella is here for you. That is what I specialize in. That's why I'm down here. Okay, so hit me up, allseeingitarot at gmail.com, and book your personal reading. I do understand you. I do understand what you're going through and what you're feeling. All right? Um, I cannot bring you and your twin together. I can't, be, I can't do that. But I can tell you what to avoid to make your ascension a lot faster. Because <laughs> I already went through it, and I made my own mistakes, and it took me what it's going on 11 years now so and I'm still not in union so I can only tell you which direction is not to go because I took a lot of different roads I'm a trailblazer I am okay so and I'm wayward so I made a lot of mistakes and I'll tell you which directions to avoid and which ways to go but the one thing I will say and this is for all of my real twins out there that's going through this process whatever you do don't stop your life do not stop, shut down, and wait for the twin flame. Don't do that. And I know, especially those of you that are getting into the ascension process right now, you don't want nobody but them. So you don't want to date nobody else. You're waiting on your twin. That's what I did. And that was the worst thing I could have done because now I still got all of these jobs to finish before I get in union with my twin. Everything that I put on the back burner back 10, 11 years ago, I got to do now. So... 
take the jobs that are coming. When I say jobs, I'm talking about the other attractors, the other partners, karmic soulmates, soulmates that are coming in, even though your twin sits over here and you know that they're there. I'm telling you, continue to live your life, okay? Because you got to start understanding and listen to me. When spirit finally does put you with your twin, that's it. That's the end, okay? So the reason why they take us through this ascension process for so long is because they need you as a representative of what real twin flames are. So you can't be a shallow person. You can't be a person if shit don't go your way, you're running away, okay? So if I take a person and I give them love, unconditional love with someone, and there's no tainted, there's nothing that's tainted in there. They've never been together. They never had sex. There's no lust in there. If I take the whole lust thing out, this person is going to be with this individual for the rest of their life. Okay? So they're going to knock all that shit out of you. Lust, all that shit that you got problems with that will keep you from being in a relationship. Trust me. And you can't say, I'm ready. All right, I got it. I'm ready now. Fuck, Linda. No. You can't say that because they know when you're ready. When you're ready, you'll be in union, okay? But also, they have to knock all that stuff out of you. Jealousy, you know, desiring other people. They got to get all that out of you. And that takes a long time. Like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. You want a personal reading? All sing at tarot at gmail.com. You want to win the free 30? Make sure you timestamp below. I hope you enjoyed this. Do I got another? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'll be back with the next element. Okay, welcome back, Bella. Thank you, guys. Almost forgot about you, Earth signs. Almost. Not quite. Let's get it. Now, rewind to the beginning if you missed any announcements, okay? 30 for 30, 60 for 60 is still going on. You got about two weeks left for that, and then I'm going to jump into the regular pricing, okay? All right, here we go. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, November 18th through the 25th? Let me see what's going down this week for my Earth signs. Sense. First card out, Nine of Wands. Five of Coins. Queen of Cups. Page of Coins. Seven of Swords. Uh-uh. Under the Nine of Wands, we got the World card. Okay. Under the Five of Coins is the Empress. Under the Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. Under the Page of Coins, the Lovers. Wow. Under the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Cups. This is crazy. All right. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Three of swords. Painful situations for you if you're dating Cancer Pisces, okay? Now, every now and then I'll get a reading that I really don't want to do, and this is one of those, okay? I don't, I don't want to hurt nobody. I, I love you guys, and I want you to continue to watch me, okay? But I have to report on what I see, all right? There's so many people that are feeding you bullshit out here that are lying to you just to get your money and make you feel good for the moment that there's no real change that's going on. And I don't do that here at all CNI Terra. I'm the raw, I'm the truth, and I'm going to get change, okay? So here it is. For those of you that are Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, some of you may find yourself involved with a Cancer Pisces who may be using you. Now, you know whether this person is using you or not, okay? You know whether they're using you because... The only time they get excited is when, when the talks come about money. The only time that, you know, um, they, there's any involvement with you is when maybe you got a check or, you know, maybe you did something financially to help them out. 
all right but there you know that there's no emotional connectivity now some of you are worried right now I do have some new children that are being born in cancer Pisces okay I do have that here especially with the Queen of Cups on the Ace of Cups right here as well as you could also be dating a cancer Pisces that may be using their child as a pawn all right what I mean what do you mean Bella okay well you still got that cancer Pisces that's using you okay but however they may throw up I gotta take care of my daughter or I gotta take care of my son or my son or daughter needs me at this moment little do you know there's an involvement with the mother okay now what this is saying to me is that right now at this time what I don't like is that a lot of you are going to have the the the, the um the rug pulled from under you okay I need to speak to those of you that have gotten into paying for love and this is real listen nobody else is watching or nobody else is listening nobody else knows but this is I, I want to talk to you directly you know when you start to get into that vibration of paying for love okay because you constantly have to give it more and more it's like an energy vampire you constantly have to feed it and while you're feeding it it's depleting you you have the five of coins here with the empress it's taking everything from you you're not getting what you need out of this relationship and when you do get a little bit of attention it's only because you did something miraculous for this person. When you're with the one, it's not going to deplete you or take from you. It's going to put into your life. Some of you are with people that belong to others. Okay? And maybe at the moment, your perception or your intuition is not 100% eating you to bullshit. Okay? So, so you can't really... You can't really hear the universe telling you that this is not for you or this person belongs to someone else. But you can feel it. Now, recently, your lover, Cancer Pisces, has gotten this change of heart. Or they have walked outside of their, their emotional norm. All right? You've noticed this. Okay? You got to watch. You got to pay attention. They're starting to dress different. They're starting to wear a certain cologne. And they're moving different. Alright? All the signs are there. So, I'm with this guy. He's a Cancer Pisces, Bella. And he never closes the bathroom door. But lately, he's been coming in the house and he's shutting the bathroom door. Lately, you know... He used to usually come in the house and drop a cell phone on the table, but lately it's been glued to him and I can't get it out of his hand. The signs are there. Okay? Because when a person starts to cheat subconsciously, what they'll do is they'll start hiding things, hiding themselves, hiding things. And, and even women, you know, she's never worn clothes to be in. All of a sudden she's putting a nightgown on. She's also shutting the bathroom door. When she talks to me, her arms are folded. Body language. Pay attention. All right? Things that go maybe over your head, especially if you got kids, and, and you know, they're a distraction at this moment. You, you're trying to take care of your kids, so you're not really paying attention to the relationship. I'm bringing this up because I don't like this. The Seven of Swords with the Eight of Cups. What this tells me is that your lover that you're involved with is planning to pick up and disappear on you. Let's go into this Queen of Cups. Give me clarity on that Queen of Cups. Ooh, slow down. Empress. Okay. Tell me more. Four of Cups. Tell me more. Ace of Wands. Okay. So, another thing I'm going to tell you is that if you are a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and this is your baby's father, Cancer Pisces. Maybe you just found out that you're pregnant again, and they're not happy about that. They don't want it. 
they they don't want any more children with you. Give me that four cups. What is happening with that? Hold on, guys. I got to see this. The fool and the six of wands. Okay. Now, they don't want the child because they're not invested in a relationship. So, so you know what's going on in your life. Okay. So, if you just recently found out that you're pregnant and you, you're, you, Cancer Pisces is your husband, um, it kind of seems to me that there has been a recent upscale, like, um, a graduation like uh like maybe they've made it to a different platform or maybe you guys just got some money or something like that and they're looking for a way to break free like they want to be free they don't want to be tied down with more children I think that you're going to have some problems maybe you already have kids with this cancer Pisces and you've never had any problems until now now I feel like um they were using you to get to a certain platform. They needed you to get to a certain platform. Now that they're there, a lot of you are going to struggle. And this is messed up because you totally overlooked that they were there for money. You know, you wanted to believe that they loved you and you loved them. Okay, but, but you didn't pay attention to the small signs, you know. The only time you're fucking happy is when we got some money or some money come in the door. But even when the money come in the door, there's still a bit of selfishness there, you know. Pay attention to if you are Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and you're involved with a Cancer Pisces and he dresses better than you. One thing I will tell you is this. When you are with a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, both, all of them, and they're in love with you, they will shop for you. They will literally, because they want to look like, they, they understand the importance of what's on my arm has to be a baddie as well. Okay? But if you are with someone and you start to notice that, damn, he go out and he buys shoes all the time and he's always buying cologne and buying stuff for him, but he don't come back with nothing for me. That is a sign. Okay? I seen this in my uh, water sign reading that a lot of Cancer Pisces, Scorpio was using my Earth signs, Capricorn Taurus, because you popped up in there, especially Capricorn and Taurus. Okay, um, I don't even know what to say because it's inevitable. It's the Three of Swords, so this is coming with a heartbreak. I, it's inevitable. I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. As far as the babies that I see that's going on, I definitely see new pregnancies that are happening uh, for earth and water. If you guys are connected, there could be a new baby. I, I believe I told y'all that. though. I, I believe I, I said that you guys were fertile. I probably said that like maybe a month ago or two months ago, especially in Virgo because we got this crazy-ass trend that's going on. Shit, I'm trying to get pregnant, but I ain't had no sex with nobody. But um, this is the moment to get pregnant. Okay, definitely get pregnant, but you need to make sure you're pregnant by somebody that actually want to be there. Also, um, this could also be for those of you that are earth signs, and, and you're probably like, Bella, I'm not pregnant, I can't even have kids. Well, you need to look at your partner if he's a Cancer Pisces, because there could be a baby outside of the relationship, okay? And, and this could even go as far as he already has one by another woman. And she's pregnant with her second. Let me look at this because this page of Pentacles popped up on the lovers. Give me that page of Pentacles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, wait a minute. These cards is going crazy. Hold on. Give me that page of Pentacles. We got the Hierophant. We got the Nine of Swords. So this is um, ooh, the King of Cups and Six of Pentacles. This could be for those of you that are dating Scorpio, Pisces, Mary, Cancer. And there could be a baby outside of the relationship, okay? Especially if you're married, okay? This is, it looks like this is the worst fear of the wife, okay? She's already afraid that he may get someone else pregnant. And it looks like it already happened. Give me that lovers. Woo, slow down. Hold on, y'all. Give me the lovers energy. Who is that? We got to, see, this is definitely pregnancy. This is pregnancy outside of the relationship, though. We got the star, the five of wands. Break down that five of wands. Where's the competition at? Ten of cups. Family, see that? This is confirmation, y'all. I'm just showing y'all. 
the devil, and then we have the world. Give me that devil energy. But see, what I'm trying to tell you is the person that is pregnant by this Cancer Pisces, this is not the first time. This is not the first, look at that, eight of cups, two of cups, there she go, Virgo Taurus. This is not the first time, okay, that, that, this ain't the first baby, like, like, maybe he already had one already with her, you understand? He already had one with her already. She could be an earth sign too, like you guys, all right? She could be another earth sign, it could be another Virgo or a Taurus person that is pregnant. All right, Virgo or Taurus. This could be her sun or rising sign. She might not even be a Virgo Taurus. Maybe her sun sign is, I don't know, Leo, Aries. I have um, water going towards fire and also air. Okay, so she could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Libra. Um, What is the other one? Libra, Aquarius. All right. But I'm telling you, this is not the first kid. Like, this is not, you know, even if she doesn't have this child and she had a miscarriage or she had an abortion or something, this ain't the first time that this happened, all right? Because he loves her. Whoever this woman is, he loves this girl. He loves her, all right? He's not completely over her. And you might say, well, Bella, why is he here? Why do he come here if he love her? I don't know. It could be the money, you know? Maybe it's, I'm going to tell you this story and I'm going to be real honest with you. When me and King was together and King had just got out of jail, he just got out of jail and his tow truck business was kind of like suffering. So he didn't have any money. Um, he actually moved in with my cousin. My cousin is the person that got him out of jail. You know, she was the one that I used um, to get him out of jail because he couldn't come here because you guys know I have a felony, so two felons can't live together in the same house. So I had to use my cousin, and I used her to get him out of jail. And he went and lived with her. Now, we're together in a relationship. Why the fuck would you go live with my cousin? You got a whole house here. I mean, even though you're paroled there, most men do that all the time. They'll be paroled one place, but stay every night with a woman. Want to know why? King went to my cousin's house because she didn't have any responsibilities towards him. Meaning she didn't expect him to pay the bills. She didn't expect him to bring food in the house or nothing. Whereas living with me was, it was a requirement to put in, to help. Okay. So that answers the question as to, you know, why is he here and not with her? Okay. It could be living with you. It's more beneficial because you don't require anything from him. You're the one paying all the bills. You're the one taking care of his ass. All right? And this other woman, the woman that he loves, he always wants to be up on a pedestal with her. Look at that six of wands. Okay? He always wants to be on a pedestal. Maybe she requires him to be on a pedestal. Maybe she calls him king. <laughs> so he feels like he has to live up to that image. Okay? He's not very honest with her. So the only time he go around her is when he got something to offer. Okay. I have the Eight of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. What this says to me is that this man is contemplating leaving you for her. All right. Now, Bella, I am the one. I'm a Virgo. I'm a Taurus. I'm with a Cancer Pisces. This is my husband. And we are having another baby. How, how does this resonate with me? This resonates with you because if you're having another child, he does, not, he does not want any more children. I think that what you're about to go through, and I'm going to warn you, Virgo Taurus, is infidelity. Now, this may be something that you've never had to deal with before, but it is coming in Cancer Pisces, okay? It's coming due to his status has changed. He got more money, okay? More money attracts more suitors. He wants to be free. Okay, now this could, this is going to resonate if you got married at a very young age and he never got to really live his life. Okay, so now he got a couple dollars. He got the women saying how cute he is, how, how handsome he is, and he's about to piss you all the way to fuck off. Okay, Linda, book a personal reading. I'll see you out here on gmail.com. Okay, all right, guys, make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, hit your notification bell. You know how to reach me. All seeing out tarot at gmail.com. Make sure in the subject line you put which reading you want to book 
Okay, please don't take too many days. Some of y'all, y'all just say, I need a reading. And then, you, you know, it takes three days, four days, you know, to find out which reading you want. By that time, the spot that you was hoping to get is gone. Okay, I book by the minutes, literally. All right, so be prepared already. All seeing at tarot at gmail.com. Bella, I want the 30 for 30. I want the 60 for 60. I want a spiritual analysis. I'm ready now. I'll send you back an invoice. Get in. All right? Reserve your spot. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you again very soon. Please rewind to the beginning if you missed the announcements about King Vaughn and Mo3. Why I have not touched that case yet, those cases, definitely rewind to the beginning. Okay? All right, guys. I'll see you very soon.